could this be Microsoft's next lang chain competitor or this is just a new agent framework? Let's find it out in this video. Autogen is a new framework from Microsoft that lets you create multi-agent systems. Like for example, if you want to use large language models and build complicated applications, typically people fall back to something like Langchain or if they want a lot of document retrieval, then they would fall back for something like Llama Index. But there is nothing that you know makes you create true agent applications. Uh, we have seen on this channel, like we have seen MetaGPT, we have seen ChatDev, we have seen multiple other frameworks that can let you do that. But Autogen seems like be in the middle of all these kind of spaces. Let's get to know more about it. What Microsoft is saying is that Autogen is a framework for simplifying the orchest orchestration optimization and automation of LLM workflows. It offers customizable conversable agents. So you can define agents and make them, first you can customize them and also you can make them talk to each other. So if you see fundamentally, Autogen has got two, two different entities. Like if you take Autogen, you can boil it down to two different things. One, you can define a set of agents with specialized capabilities and roles. For example, you can say that a particular agent here is uh, just basically an open AI agent, that's it. Or you can also say that this agent is partnering with a human being, so that is another thing. Or you can say that this agent is a chess player. So you can do all these kind of defining agents with the different kind of roles, that's the first thing. The second thing is, you can define interactions between these agents. So not just that you define these agents, but also you get to define how they communicate with different agents or even human beings or different kind of tools. And uh, like what, what to reply when a particular agent responds to you, what to reply or what to ask a tool. So these are the certain things that you can do. So overall Autogen can do two things for you. One, you can, or you can use Autogen to do two things. One, you can define agents. Second, you can define interactions between agents. For example, this is a complicated system. So in this example workflow, what happens is this is a code based answering question and answering system in a supply chain optimization. So there is a user, the user asks a question, the question comes to the writer and then the writer writes the code and then the code now goes back to the commander and then the commander sends the code like you have got like some kind of system and then this gets cleared and then now it goes back again to this writer as a log for saving and then the answer comes back to the user. So this is a typical system and as you can see here, you've got like one agent here which is a commander agent, then you've got like a writer agent, then you've got like a safeguard agent. And we'll see a couple of more examples of how they have defined. So overall what they're saying is that you can define an agent, you can define interactions and it's not necessarily just a simple agent conversing with a human being. You can also have multi-agent conversations. You can have agents, 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 agents talking to each other or you can have like a multiple, you know, like a hierarchical or more complicated systems, something like this. If you see a couple of examples that they've given here, you can see that this is a user proxy agent, most likely a human here, and this is an AI agent here, typically like a large language model configured to write a Python code. So the human proxy agent here has, okay, plot a chart of a Meta and Tesla stock price change YTD. And the computer or the agent here um, runs the code and it says the error, for example, the finance, why finance library is not there. Then this agent, which has got a human plus a Python, and it says, okay, error package, why finance is not installed. Then it goes ahead to install it. Then it gives you the chart. And then after you get the chart, you change, you say, you know, change the plot. So this way you can build like a code interpreter like system without using open AI code interpreter. So open AI code interpreter or whatever they're calling as advanced data analysis right now is only within chat GPT plus. But if you want to build something like this, you can like basically build an enhanced version of chat GPT plus code interpreter plus plugin simply using like a proxy agent and as an assistant agent. And it's very simple. Like if you see the bare minimum, it's very simple to define. All you have to do is install Py auto agent, Autogen. And once you do it, import Autogen, then you define an assistant, you define a user proxy, and then you can start making the chat. Like you can start triggering the chat. Uh, it's simple, as simple as that. But they've got a lot of complicated examples, which I'm definitely like planning to go through it. But one of the things that they've given is like, for example, you can set up like a chess board where you've got one agent that is the chess board here. You have got another agent, which is a combination of human and the, you know, like mostly human. 
uh, and also like AI and you have got like one more human plus AI, the validation. So you can use this to develop your sk chess skills and also have like um, a multiple better chess interaction, not necessarily having a human coach all the time. So this is like a conversational chess. They have given the code also for you to start with. And if you see the entire examples that they've given, like the question that we try to understand at the start of the video is Autogen. Microsoft's Langchain replacement or Langchain competitor, or is it much more than that? So what I feel is in the world of uh, the LLM tech stack, if you see the Langchain, the Llama index of the world, or you've got like the chat dev of the world, I st like something that I st said at the start of the video, I feel like Autogen is trying to be all of this. Like for example, you can use Autogen to communicate with agents. These agents could be also Python interpreters, could be tools, could be internet and anything. At the same time, you can also define special automated agent that can communicate with each other. So at the end of the day, it seems like Microsoft is trying to solve a lot of different things with one library that is Autogen. And I went ahead and then looked at the licensing part, especially because you know <laughs> we want to use this. So if you see the license, it uses the C attribution 4.0 CC, um, common con creative contributions of 4.0 license, the attribution 4.0. It lets you use it for a commercial use. It lets you use for modification, distribution, private use. So it's uh, it's commercially available. So you can use this, build commercial tools and publish it. I think this is an uh, this is like a great opportunity for people to try out LLMs to build agents, especially like recently we have seen a lot of innovation coming from how you can use LLMs to make certain tasks, like uh, how you can use LLMs to do certain tasks. Chat dev is a great example and you can see here like basically you can define agents. One could be like a CEO agent, one could be like a CTO agent, one could be like a coder agent, one could be like a tech reviewer agent. And uh, it seems like a lot of these are possible within Autogen. I'm yet to explore the code base in detail, but there are a lot of examples for every hyperlink that they've given. Definitely check it out. I'll link the blog post or the announcement in the YouTube description for you to try it out. Let me know in the comment section, what do you generally feel about this kind of agent architecture? For me personally, one of the greatest things that I'm looking forward in the LLM world is having agents do certain tasks for human beings that are repetitive or that would take a lot of times. I still remember like there is a very popular book saying automate, um, you know, use Python to automate certain things. And um, probably I think like probably use AI to automate certain things. I think that is that is one of the things that I am looking forward to see and create more content on. Let me know in the comment section. What do you feel about this particular thing, especially the Autogen, um, which is a library. The GitHub repository is there. Like if you want to use, you can go ahead and then use it, start it. And also they've got their private discord and also the announcement. And inside the GitHub repository, if you go, you would see the notebook folder with a lot of examples, a lot of examples for you to do certain tasks. Let me know in the comment section what you feel. See you in another video. Happy prompting.